I am the one and only Eagle Double T, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing, is the Wii U worth it? Let's find out. So far, the Wii U is going down to be one of the worst consoles in sales in history, which is very sad because it really is a great console and is very, very underrated and deserves a lot more love than it has, but... Is it really worth it with the new Nintendo NX coming out, possibly within the next year or even six months? With the NX coming out so soon, I'm not sure the Wii U is worth getting picked up. Because with Nintendo's amazing history of backwards compatibility, um, it will likely be backwards compatible with the Wii U. But if you're a hardcore Nintendo fan, I would definitely pick it up because it does have some features that the NX may not have, such as HDMI and AV. Now, the reason that this is great is because if you have a newer TV, you can use it in that beautiful resolution that Mario Kart 8 has with HDMI. But if you have an older TV, you're not completely screwed. Because there is AV. So that is wonderful. And with the direction that the Xbox One and the PS4 are taking with less USB ports. Yeah. This one has four. PS4 has two. So that is wonderful. It's great being able to use um, flash drives and charge it and do everything. You know, all that great stuff. The NX may not have compatibility with the gamepad, which is an amazing feature. I mean, it is so functional that it, all the buttons are amazing, the touchscreen is amazing, it's a great controller. And it works with several different kinds of controllers, like the Wii Remotes, the Wii U Pro, and you can even buy a GameCube controller adapter. It does have a lot of amazing games, but like I said, it, they may work on the NX. So, is this worth picking up from the average consumer? Just casual gamers? I would say not. Because the NX is coming out, and it may be backwards compatible. And the library of games is slightly lacking compared to other Nintendo consoles like the Wii and the GameCube. But it still has a lot of great exclusives. So, if you're just a casual gamer, I wouldn't really recommend picking it up. But if you're a hardcore Nintendo fan, it would probably be a good idea to pick it up because of all the amazing features that it has that the NX may not have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Comment if you have any video ideas for me. I am always open to suggestions. And if I choose your video, I will do a shout out to you. So, I am the one and only Eagle Double T, signing off. Goodbye.